the coach, uh, coach uh, first time in the Indian team has landed in Impal. Uh, it's your first press conference here, come up with the press match. How is the team? First of all, I'm very happy that we are here. For many reasons. It's the first time I'm very honored that as a, as a coach I will take India out here in Manipur. Very important football state for our team. I will give you a few reasons. You know how many players you produced for the Indian national team. We have 23 players today here with us and seven of them are born in Manipur. And congratulations to all of you for being the leading football state in the country. Uh, this action uh, here, this three nation tournament is part of our uh, program of promoting football all over India. Not staying in one place and playing football in one place and I'm very happy that this first action is taking part here in Myanmar. I hope that we can all enjoy great football, good football games. You all know that most of the players are quite tired and exhausted from the finals, but we do have 23 players here, as I said, so you can expect many players for the Manipur to start the game tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if you want to ask questions about that one. Please, uh, okay. Please tell us your name, your organization, and yes, yes, of course. Uh, my name is Prem Chan and I'm working as a reporter in the uh, TV channel. So, uh, how you are going to manage the team with you know, most of the players coming back from the ISL and you didn't have much time for practice, only five days you joke in golf time for practice. So, how you are going to manage the team for tomorrow match and how the weather uh, we might get to tomorrow also. So, uh, how is your preparation like? A few challenges are there in front of us, obviously. Uh, different kind of pitch in regards to the type of the grass and the quality of the players which are enjoying, obviously, the ISL infrastructure and standard. They need to get used to that as soon as possible. Uh, we were hoping to have a today training session at the ground, but having in mind that it was raining the last couple of days, we should save the ground for the games and that's that's something we need, we're going to take care about. Uh, the rest of it about recovery and uh, fresh legs, we're going to try to overcome somehow with the players who are not involved in the final game. So for tomorrow game, we're going to use mostly players uh, which are not involved in the finals of ISL and we're going to try to refresh these nine, ten boys who, who had exhausting game in the finals for the more serious game, I would say, which is against Kyrgyzstan. As you said, Manipur has produced uh, more and more players of our nations. So how do you expect from uh, football fans in Manipur for two more games? I heard a lot about uh, football fans in Manipur and I'm very excited to come out here tomorrow uh, with, a, with a packed stance, I would say, with 30,000 supporters supporting our boys, our nation, uh, in a try to, to get a victory and we're going to bring it to you, definitely we're going to do everything to, to win the game tomorrow. I'm not arrogant saying this, just very optimistic because we are playing at home and you know that we were waiting long time to have friendly games at home. This is one of the opportunities to show that we progressed in our football, in our uh, mindset, in our character and to provide to you also some joy winning the games here. Thank you. Can we pass the mic to the back, please? Good afternoon, sir. My name is Genius. I work for Lee TV. My question is that, as you said, the players are facing a fatigue problem due to the ISL recently, which completed. So, uh, are you planning to uh, are you planning for players uh, to play the full staff or do you have any particular strategy for the Myanmar team in particular? What was the first question? What was the, the first, first question is are you planning to uh, play a full squad of the Indian team? Very full band strength. What is the full squad for you? I'm not sure. For, I mean, me, for me, each one of these 23 players is a full squad first. 
So whoever I put on the pitch is the first goal. We don't make difference between the players who are on the list of the national team. There is no Ronaldo here or Messi. So we do have 23 boys here who are equally ready to defend the colors of the country and fight for the country. So that's it. Whoever I put there is the first team choice. Fair enough. Thank you. And uh, the second question is any particular strategy for the Myanmar football team? Strategy will be the only one, attacking from the first minute. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Good afternoon, Coach. <clears throat> My name is Amita I work for the Hindu newspaper. Uh, we are considering this as the first uh, game in preparation for the Asian uh, Cup, which is in January. So how do you see this uh, start uh, to the preparation process and what are we expecting from that? Uh, we have a different approach to this game. You are considering the preparation for the Asian Cup, we not. Our preparation for the Asian Cup starts in May. Okay. Uh, today and next five, six days we're going to be here to enjoy and celebrate the success of our players in ISL. Great performances. We're going to enjoy being together here in, in Manipur and spending time together enjoying football. But you know that our serious work, the most important one, starts in May in preparation for the South tournament, which we're going to host, and the FIFA window in June. Uh, that will be the start of the process of selection for the players who will be on the list for the Asian Cup for India, representing the country. So, this is not part of that preparation. Coach, I'm uh, Shabir, I work for K now. There are many newcomers in the squad, so how have they changed with the entire team? I wouldn't say too many. We have few newcomers this time. There were uh, many more before in our earlier gatherings. So the boys will get their chance. They deserve. They deserve the chance being here with us through their performances in ISL season. And hopefully they will do well. There is no reason for them not to do well for India because it's the same position they're going to play, it's the same kind of the game with the same rules. So I hope they will enjoy their chance in the national team. I will ask one question to Kulpreet. Um, yes, please. Okay. Uh, Coach, uh, one of the things that uh, Indian national team coaches always uh, talk, have talked about is uh, how after the league season the players uh, uh, come in, you know, uh, with with the fitness that's short of their ex uh, uh, expectations. So, looking at the players now, do you think the Indian clubs have uh, done better to you know take care of the players and uh, make sure they're fit? Uh, Can you shorten the question? Besides, uh, do, you th do you think uh, the Indian clubs have done a good job in keeping the players fresh and ready for this? I'm not here to comment the job coaches, coaches of ISL, but I'm sorry for that. My job is to uh, choose the players and to get the best out of them for the seven, six, seven days we are together. You know, so I will not make any comments about that. Uh, my question to Kulpreet. Uh, just a few days after a bitter loss in the final of the ISS. How difficult is it to lift yourself up again and uh, play for the national team? Uh, it's, it's pretty easy when you have a game coming up. Uh, so, like like Coach said, we are very glad uh, to be here. And as a player, it, it gives me a huge uh, honor to come to a place where uh, a lot of footballers have come to. A lot, like uh, from the time when I started as a player to now, uh, it is great honor to be here and uh, the answer to your question is uh, once I play or I be a part of uh, a game as soon as possible, the, the earlier I move on from that little loss. And do we have any more questions? Can we pass If uh, no one is around, I would just uh, love to know of the command from the coach. I, I need a comment from the coach on organizing this kind of event in a place like Manipur. Comment.
comment on uh, organizers of the tournament? What did you ask? Organizers of kind of promotion of football in the state like Manipur. Listen, we don't have many opportunities uh, during one year to, have, uh, to promote football around the country. You remember that after uh, we finished qualifiers in Kolkata in June, I specifically requested to do everything to organize home-friendly games. And this is part of that of that process now because throughout the pandemic for two years India never played one home game, you know. And now we have a chance playing home games, friendly games, which will be much more of a joy for our players instead of going abroad playing against the good teams and their referees and their soul, which is making it very difficult for us to do any or make any success also. You know, it's a difference when you play at home when you have your own crowd, supporters behind you, it's a different kind of uh, position, different kind of situation, and that's giving you more chances to win the game also, you know. So, uh, I appreciate the Football Federation, all responsible, and especially State uh, here, Association of Manipur, uh, helping us to organize this, to host this, and I hope that very soon in the future the football infrastructure will be much better than after this tournament when we all uh, when we all witness how much Indian football means to the people here that the government will do more to to do better jobs for football infrastructure. Of course, uh, do you have any uh, how many many players will do? We'll be in the first that you have tomorrow next. Uh, we have a training session now and the uh, starting lineup will be decided after the training session. So uh, but as as per now quite a few, most of the team will be players born from money. Can we please pass the mic at the back row? Uh, coach can you Take us uh, through your opponents, like the uh, teams that you are facing in the next few days. Kyrgyzstan is somewhere around the 94 and yes. one is uh, my money is around 56. So India stands in between. So what kind of football are we expecting? Listen, Kyrgyzstan will be a very difficult opponent for us. We know that they are better ranked, better position. They, they had a very solid qualifiers for the World Cup. Uh, they were playing a really good football against some greater opponents and better opponents than them. And they are very disciplined side, you know. So it's going to be a very different approach to those two, between those two games we play against Myanmar and Kyrgyzstan. So I just hope that until then, and we have uh, enough time to refresh the players who are involved in in the finals to take care of some of some of their problems. We have a few players with a certain certain problems here, and that we're going to have, I would say, the best possible team in regards to Kyrgyzstan. What is expected from us to do to win the game?